Free National Movement leader Dr. Hubert Minnis called on party members and supporters to rock with Doc as he officially launched his leadership campaign on Christie Park last night. Hal Davies Bunnings tells us tonight that the FNM leader didn't mince words on why he can lead the party to victory in the upcoming general elections. Senior Free National Movement members who attended Wednesday night's campaign launch explained to party supporters why Dr. Hubert Minnis should be re-elected as leader at the party's national convention later this month. Even the Progressive Liberal Party's member of parliament for Tall Pines, Leslie Miller, received a standing ovation as he showed support for Dr. Minnis. The pulsating sounds of Junkanoo filled the air as Dr. Minnis arrived on stage to deliver his address. Acknowledging that crime is out of control, he listed some of the crime-fighting initiatives of a menace-led Free National Movement government. Our security forces will be provided with all the resources and the latest crime-fighting technology to combat this social menace. Fixing the economy to create a better life for Bahamians is also a priority on Dr. Minnis' agenda. We will ensure that Bahamians have access to financing to give wings to their ideas and drive their businesses. We will introduce land reform, ensuring that Bahamians have an opportunity to own land in this country. We will eliminate VAT on breadbasket items. FNM supporters also welcomed the idea of concessions for Family Island students attending the College of the Bahamas, enhancing the inner city of New Providence with tax-free zones and a recall system for poorly performing parliamentarians. On FNMs, I am still convinced that if we speak, if we speak with one voice, if we all move with one purpose and if we follow one vision, one leader, no one can defeat us. Altavis Munnings, ZNS Network News. Meantime, the Butler Sands team also officially launched their campaign Wednesday night in Rosin Square. The duo is hoping to convince voting delegates that they're the best team to lead the party. Jimmy and Swain was in Rosin Square and tells us that the team unveiled their plan not only locally but globally as well. Supporters of Loretta Butler-Turner, Senator Dr. Dwayne Sands' Free National Movement leadership ticket, including current and former party parliamentarians dressed in red t-shirts with placards and chanting their support in Rosson Square Wednesday night for the pair who are offering to serve the party and their country. Butler-Turner wants to be party leader with Dr. Sands as a deputy. The recurring message, which was also streamed live on social media platforms, outlined why they are the new beginning the party and the country needs to govern in 2017. This campaign is more than who is going to lead after convention. It is more than healing wounded egos. This campaign is about moving forward together. Boasting of how she transformed herself, Butler Turner revealed their plan to take on crime and restore law and order. Crime is our cancer. But it is also the cancer of this entire region. We must improve multilateral efforts to stem the crime networks in our region. They should have a mandatory minimum sentence of 30 years without question and no chance for parole. She also highlighted a need to boost the economy through entrepreneurship and education. While working with the banks in the Bahamas to loosen the lending rules for certain borrowers, most especially young Bahamian entrepreneurs with proven business acumen and results. Those who make the academic cut but not the financial grade, we should expand scholarship programs through both the national government and through public-private sector partnerships. Mandatory annual financial and conflict of interest disclosures. Annual accountability reports by government to the public. Transparent and public reporting on government procurement. At the end of the day, more than 400 delegates that are eligible to vote will decide on who 
will take the Free National Movement Party forward. Jiminy Deswain, ZNS Network News.